Hello and welcome to the final Pygame tutorial for a while. Today we're going to talk about how to add sounds to your programs. And again, like adding images, this is pretty easy. It's just another couple of extra lines. So what I've done is I've taken the last program we did where we added an image. So it's the same one as we started out with our um, creating a sprite ball that bounced around the screen. And you can see that here's where I loaded the image, the ball file name and just below it is the new line and before we can use a sound in a program we actually have to import it into Pygame or bring it into Pygame so I created my sound variable name and I used the function pygame.mixer.sound and in parentheses in the parameter is going to be the file name of the sound now one thing that you have to remember here is that the sound format has to be either a WAV file or an OGG file, OGG, OGG Vorbis, and if you haven't looked that up, um, it's an open source file. So again, a WAV or an OGG file. Um, and again, if it's not in the exact same directories where you saved your program, you must put the path to that sound file. So just remember, you give it a variable name, pygame.mixer.sound, and then uh, the path to the file name. Now, once you have that in there, again, this is in our constructor, so that when we create a new instance of, of a ball, it adds that sound. The way you play it is the method play. And so here again, I use my move ball method, and when I, I check to see if it hits the, the left or right wall, or the top or the bottom, and if it does hit one of those, I just say I say self.sound.play, and that's going to play the sound for us. Now, I'll, I'll be the first to admit that when I found the sound, it wasn't the best sound. It's a pretty obnoxious beep, but at least you'll get the picture. Uh, it's going to be better if you record your own sounds. Like images, you should be aware of copyright and only take sounds that you've created or that are copyright free or, or uh, under Creative Commons. So make sure you check that you're not using copy, copyrighted sounds in your program, because copyright can be kind of confusing. Okay, so let's see how what this is going to look like. I'm going to do Control F11, and you can see that if it hits the walls, it makes a sound. And I'm going to close that before it gets too annoying. Um, again, so today we've just added sounds to our Pygame programs. Pretty simple one-line thing to do. Um, good luck experimenting with it, and have fun. Have a great day.